Are you, are you surprised at the backlash that people don't even want to allow you to discuss options and pretreatment? It's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's one of the craziest things that I've ever witnessed in my life. You know, and you're, we're, we're talk, I'm not talking about um, experimental drugs or things that you said. This stuff's been around. I and mean, the guy, the ivermectin, the you're guy, a doctor? Won, the guy won the Nobel Peace Prize. You're a doctor? Huh? You're a doctor? No, but there's plenty See? of doctors there you go. that do. Uh, <laughs> Here he <medicine>. comes. <laughs> I just asked a question. Are you a doctor? No, but I, but, I, but I took them and they both work for me. So why shouldn't I be able to take them again? Or other people? I won't answer. No, no, come on, dive in. We, we do have a well, brain Why shouldn't we be able to take them? Decisions. Right? You, you want to know what's scary? I bet I could get some fucking pain pills quicker than I could get monoclonal antibodies. The president of a fighting league is talking about alternative medicines to the state's prescribed pharmaceutical, and his instinct is to call that person into question and basically try to discredit them on behalf of the state. That's what just yeah. happened.